Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head over to Michigan in America once again, but we're going to the southwestern part of the state this time to a little town called Sawyer. Only about 1,200 people down there in fact, and we're going to visit Greenbush Brewing Company for the first time. Very first time I'm trying one of their beers, I'd never heard of these guys before, but we're going to have a taste of the Brother Benjamin, which is a 10.1% double IPA, and apparently it's got honey and beet sugar added to it. So it should be really quite nice. It was rated 97 overall on rate beer and 86 within the style so that tells you it should be a pretty damn awesome beer but it'll be a little bit quirky within that style and a huge thank you to one of my followers Jesse Holden, hops the drinker as he is on YouTube for sending me across this beer. He sent me the, the pipework stuff and also the zombie dust. He sent me some pretty damn awesome beer so it's really cool to do another one for him so thank you dude and I hope you enjoy the review. But anyway as is usual with my reviews I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you do want to get straight to the taste Thing, just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my future reviews that hopefully I can do from Greenbush Brewery as I said this is the very first time I'm trying one of their beers there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do subscribe to the channel the whole channel uses a geography based tagging system so you can go into the home page and search for beers based on the country city or state whatever you're interested in there is the playlist for the beers from different countries as well do check out my sake and whiskey reviews and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. Your input and your suggestions to the channel and your support is always hugely appreciated. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about Greenbush Brewing Company. So Greenbush Brewing are based in Sawyer in southwest Michigan. It's a small town of only about 1,200 people, like I said. It's almost right across Lake Michigan from the city of Chicago, actually. But the company was established in 2011 by Scott Sullivan and Justin Hackatham. And these guys are actually long-term friends. So Scott had previously lived in Chicago with his wife Kristen and he had homebrewed with his friend Tim. But soon though, he and Kristen decided to move back to Harbert in Michigan where he had grown up. And when he returned home, Justin actually joined him in his homebrewing activities and they decided to turn professional. So Justin had a background in banking and he decided that owning a brewery was way cooler than being a banker. And he actually runs the brewery's financial operations and is known to enjoy a little bit of golf as well. But these guys, for, despite being very new have expanded quite rapidly. They now operate a 15 barrel brew kit having upgraded from a 7 barrel brew kit back in 2013 and they also have an on site tap room as well as the annex across the road which is a kind of big outdoor drinking area judging by the pictures that I saw on their, uh, on their website actually and they also have recently opened their nightclub called the Glass Plate Club which is right next to the brewery tap room as well. So these guys are a little bit unique in that regard I guess that you can go and drink craft beer in the nightclub. I've never found that in Europe of course it may be more common over in America but these guys are very very prolific as well when I checked out their website they had about 50 beers in their regular range they also had six seasonals and they had various kind of limited uh, additions there as well so they've got a huge a variety of beer that you can choose from and from what Jesse tells me they are a very very good brewery and the beers that he's sent me have been pretty damn awesome so I'll trust them on that judgment so if you get the chance try some of their beers and like I said you can check out the brewery website in the description below but really cool to try my first beer from these guys so anyway that's enough about the brewery just now let's actually get on with the tasting of this one then so it says on the side here here at Greenbush we're always known that good ideas often start over beer we also know that there's nothing like taking a good idea too far you're reading this so you must be one of us enjoy the first step in taking your own idea too far Greenbush Brewing Company Sawyer Michigan 49125 so yeah nicely presented bottle this one I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the artwork on this one if I can find my cursor there we are as you can see it's got brother Benjamin there looking as if he might have uh, been a little bit drunk actually, maybe the pavement was moving for him the night when that was drawn, but there you can see there's the nice green bush bottle cap, that's the symbol for the brewery just on the side of the bottle here, that nice tree, but that's actually really cool, I always like that because it reminds me of some of the the uh, the things to do with evolution like the tree of life and things, I do like the kind of nature symbols that some of these breweries on their things but yeah very nicely presented this one actually and I can get a refund if I go to California of 10 cents so I'll be rich if I do that but I can't do that unfortunately because we are here in Scotland so let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting then so nice bubble there popping out bit of smoke so let's get this guy out and into the glass and I'll tell you something you can smell the honey off this beer as you open up the bottle a bit of oranges coming out as well really nice smelling beer this one so yeah 
lovely pour as well as you get from these American beers. So yeah, as you can see, if I bring the light on over here, this beer has poured a really nice, I'll just put it down there, I think you can see it, it's poured a really nice, kind of almost reddish orangey amber colour, like a kind of blood orange colour I would say. There's a frothy, kind of cream coloured, very slightly beige head on this one. It looks absolutely lovely, some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and quite a few little ones going up towards the bottom of that head there. But this beer smells absolutely lovely, you can smell the nice malty character, you can smell that honey coming off it actually really lovely looking beer. There is a degree of transparency to it as well, some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass there and a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head but it looks absolutely lovely. So let's take a closer look at the aroma of this one then. Oh, now that smells like a bit of a beast. Just from taking in the aroma you can tell, you know, the 10.1% it is going to be a bit of a beast of a beer but you can smell some of that boozy character in that and that's what I love about some of these American beers. But that's lovely, you know, you can smell a bit of a kind of biscuity malt base to this one. There's a nice sort of, uh, there's a nice kind of caramelly, almost toasted caramelly character to this one. You can smell the honey on top of that. I always find honey has a little bit more of a kind of earthy and sometimes a little bit of a nutty aroma to it. And I'm getting that out of this one. You can smell the honey at the kind of top of the nose if you like. In the back of the nose you're getting the more the darker caramel but I always find honey smells just that little bit lighter maybe a wee bit earthy and also nutty but and that's definitely in there there's a bit of kind of biscuity sweetness coming out of this as well I think in America maybe you'd refer to that as kind of cookie a sort of cookie sweetness of course you guys call biscuits what we would call muffins of course so some of these terms can get a bit mixed up when you're reviewing American beers but yeah, it's got that nice light honey character to it. There's so much going on in the nose of this beer, actually. So there's a bit of a bready malt base coming out as well. Almost a little bit. Not quite a rye bread, but a kind of sweet, almost slightly wholemealish bread, actually. I'm picking up a little bit of that in this. But the hops are interesting too. There's a bit of floral aromatic character coming out. But for me, it's, it's mainly a herbal, quite a kind of herbal character I'm getting. But definitely some grassy floral character. Herbal definitely though. And I'm getting some kind of oranges, some juicy orangey citrus. I do wonder if there's amarillo hop in this. And I think there's a little bit of tropical fruit too. There's a wee bit of grapefruit, but I think mainly it's a nice kind of orangey citrus, but it's an absolutely lovely aroma this one. There's a lot going on, so just take a little bit of time and enjoy it because th th there's so much to it. But anyway, let's get stuck into this beer then. So this one is the Brother Benjamin, a 10.1% double IPA with honey added to the brew from Greenbush Brewing Company in Sawyer, Michigan, over in America. Once again, thank you to Jesse for sending me this beer. Slanja. Yeah, that's a pretty damn good beer. And this is quite interesting because most American double IPAs that you're going to find in Europe are very hop forward. This one leans more towards the other side and it's a bit more malty. And I have to admit, I do like that kind of change of pace that this one presents. It really is lovely. I love that. I love the, the double IPAs when they just go over the 10% thing, the 10% mark, because you just get that bit more of boozy character out of them, and it works really well. So in the middle of the palate with this one, there is a bit of a bready malt base to it. It goes right across the middle of your palate and just sits there kind of anchoring the beer. On top of that, I'm getting some kind of biscuity, or as you would say in America, sort of cookie flavours in there. And on top of that, there's some of the richer caramel. To me, it tastes a little bit toasted. And then you're getting the lighter kind of honey aspects to it as well. There is a wee bit of earthiness and kind of cereal character just sitting there in the middle of my, of my palate as well. I want to say there's a wee bit of a kind of nutty or fruity, a nutty or woody element going on to this beer. It's a bit fruity towards the front of the palate I would say. As I always say when you go behind that front curve of the palate you get that little oily bubble and that's where you get these nice fruity esters coming out on the tongue. But 
that moat base is lovely. You can pick up a wee bit of the boozy character in there. And that really is what gives these kind of higher ABV beers their complexity. The hops in this are really interesting though. There's a, a bit of earthiness around the back corners of the palate. As you come further forward, you get more of the, the floral aromaticity, but really it's a herbal character, quite a herbal hop that's dominating this this flavour for me. It's, it's really interesting because I've never had a, a double IPA that's quite like this one. So this is very unique actually. But yeah, lovely beer. This there's almost a little bit of a kind of medicinal character to it as well, which is nice. That it's because it's that boozy, but absolutely lovely. I love that that the herbal character in this one has been done superbly. You can just feel that on the edges of your palate as you come further forward. If you go around the front curve of the palate, it's maybe more floral and a bit grassy as well right around the front curve and like I was saying just behind the front curve of your palate that's where you get this little oily bubble where the fruity characters come out and for me it's quite a kind of dark orangey flavour I'm getting yeah there's a bit of grapefruit in there as well kind of underpinning it but for me really it's a kind of nice dark citrusy orange I don't know if it's quite blood orange but it does have that kind of darker aspect to it. I really do wonder if there's Amarillo in this beer because I, I'm getting most of the, the kind of flavours that you'd expect if you use Amarillo hop. But yeah, on the basis of the tasting of this beer, it absolutely deserves that rating of 97. This is a really, really good double IP. I certainly wouldn't hes hesitate to drink this again and Jesse tells me that it's good in the bottle but if you try it on tap in the brewery then it's just something else you know it really is very very good and I, on the basis of trying the one, this one in the bottle I definitely believe I'm on that this is a very very good double IP and if you want something that's a bit of a change of pace like I say this one is a bit more malt forward than it is hop forward so it is good to have that and it's got a good bit of boozy complexity to it as well which is really nice I love the the way the caramel flavors work in this with a bit of nutty character and the honey aspect to it as well is really nice because you get that really nice slightly earthy and nutty brown sugar character to it it's, it's absolutely lovely there's not much more you can say about it in terms of the mouthfeel of this one I'd say this is full bodied probably mid bodied really pushing the full bodied category I'd say but probably more fu full bodied actually carbonation is very very smooth on this one huge oily mouthfeel like I said it's got a big malty flavour to it this one and that oily character really helps bring it out there's a little bit of dryness from the hops, but overall, that's not one of the more prominent aspects of the beer. It comes out a little bit more in the aftertaste. You get a little bit of that herbal character, just giving you a wee drying sensation on the, the side of your palate. But overall, it's more sweet, and it's the boozy characters that are coming out. There's a little bit of juiciness from the fruit, but as the flavour progresses, you get a bit of dryness from the herbal aspect of the hops, and some of the the almost kind of cereally bready characters from the malt base just become that little bit drier as well. But overall very very good double IP. I certainly wasn't, wouldn't hesitate to drink this again and I think it's, it's a bit of a shame that some of these American beers such as this one you're only going to find them in a couple of states. They said on their website that they distribute to Michigan, Illinois and Indiana which essentially is the, the three states in that area but very very nice beer and I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink it again. Once again a huge thank you to Jesse for sending this one over for me to have a look at. So yeah if you get the chance I'd highly recommend that you have a look at the Brother Benjamin from Greenbush Brewing Company over in Sawyer in Michigan. Really really good beer. So yeah once again thank you for watching my beer reviews. Until the next time please like, subscribe, share all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer and the brewery in the comments section below. Always interesting to hear from you guys that are watching the video. So until the next time make sure you go and check out my social media and please do like subscribe and share all the usual youtube stuff make sure you go and check out the brother benjamin from greenbush brewing company a very very good beer if you like a multi double ipa then this is one you want to try out slander just now